Hello, good morning. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Um, I just thought I'd show you what what I'm up to really. Um, I don't. If you have watched my uh, latest colour challenge, what I'm doing alongside Amy from Crafty Cat, um, the theme was brown. So. Well, I'm, let me just move some of these out of the way. So I made a few, I don't know what I made. I made that one in the video. Um, I think I made that one. And I made this one. So after I was all excited to be working with Brown and I thought I'm going to... Um, makes a load of pieces for a journal so what i've done is i'll talk because i'm i'm showing you the things um a few weeks ago i won uh five kits from musings by nikki uh, and i've got those all printed out to do a project with so the kits that I chose from Nikki was all um, very botanical. I think this one's called The Naturalist. Um, not all the pieces are, are from Nikki, but the majority of them are. So I thought it would give me a chance to use Nikki's kit and make some an excuse to make some more brown things and then turn them in into a journal use all the pieces for for a journal so yeah spent a few hours after i filmed that video and these are from from the actual kit so i've you know made made some of the elements so there's some pockets this is just a little coin envelope I've done a little tag inside that's that's from a different kit but I thought it fitted in quite well these are Tracy Fox's and then these little bits are on knickers Um, I've put a, a journal card in there but I do need to decorate it and this is a, a little notebook and a scrappy pad so I've still loads more things still cut out that that I need to make but <clears throat> I thought I'd make a start on on the actual journal so the main part of it is going to be the manila folder just folded in half um i've cut one of the pages out half of the page the clipboard bit and that's going to be the front of the file folder and I have this envelope that um, is going to flip out. I'm not sure if I'll have something going from the top or from the side. And then it will open up to this big envelope. Um, and that will open out that way. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the journal into there. Or if I'm going to sew it into the middle. Or if I'm going to do a small one and have it go into the back. So that's kind of the basic um, design of of this journal. So that's as far as I've got with ideas and stuff. I thought I'd just make up a load of brown stuff. I'll have made up far too much, but <coughs> I've got plenty of file folders, <laughs> so I can I can do more. So what I wanted to do, and I saw this a long, long time ago before. Um, I'd even started actually making journals and it was a video that is a oh there's a large tag in there what's going to pull out um a large oh yeah back in the room Tanya um something that Izzy B did on her channel and she covered a whole uh, I think it was a TN in just ripped up bits of bits of paper um, and just add them going you know just different different ways 
overlapping slightly. So the whole thing was covered and then I think she put Mod Podge on or something. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, sorry about the dog, my partner's just nipped out so the dog thinks he has to bark at everything, move in. One minute, I'm just going to pause and sort him out. I'm going to put some lights on as well, it's a bit dark. I'm back. Um, yeah, so what I thought I'd do is, um, the first step is I'm going to just stick it down with glue stick because I do actually want to sew it all up and sew all those flappy envelopes in. So I'm literally just going to, I think this is, no, it's the second time I've used this Yoohoo glue. So, yeah, just going to. I'm just going to put that there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go in more of a um, thing. And I, I am not um, going to ink every single one of these up. So um, I'm not doing any of them. I can ink all around it at, at the end. So I hope everybody is well and managing to find the time and space to create or to watch what other people create. And so I'm absolutely loving being off off work. I'm managing to, to film fill my days. I could do with a few extra days added to the week to tell you the truth. Um Seems like the more time I've got, the more the more I can f fill it. So, but it's great. It's given me time to be working on all these unfinished things. Um, this was in my unfinished pile. Um, not for the fact that I'd even started it. It was just um, I wanted to try the the envelope. What I'm going to put on the actual front bit that was something that that I wanted to try so when I see something or I'm messing about doing something else and an idea pops into my head I try and make just a little template up to remind me um, that this is something that that I wanted to try and then I'll just put it put it to one side and then when I've got the right project or the right kit or something then I'll um you use it um use the idea with with that kit so I've actually I've finished all my unfinished projects off and that was thing you know that I was halfway um started and, and just not completed but the, the rest of this unfinished pile is really just things that um, I've just left there what um, just needed the right project to to use them use them up so I thought what better way than to to use some of Nikki's kits and see see what I can do with them so I think I've got I've got a few file folders. That'll be the next things that, that I'm concentrating on. I think I've got three or four or five <laughs> in um in my um file. I don't know what I call it. Like a magazine um file. So I will I will show you how um, I store my things and that in in an up and coming video what, what I've yet to film. I'm gonna say I don't have a lot of space in here. Um, I try not to overbuy and hoard too much. It is I just buy what I want and and get it get it used because I've I've just got not got the space to to keep these things. You may wonder why. Why doesn't she just stick the the whole page on it? <laughs> well, I think.
think this will just make it look look more interesting. I should really do some other ways. Just add a few in the other way. So yes, yeah, so I've been working on the on the unfinished stuff. Um, plus, it's given me time. I've I've been doing the Amy's colour challenge, and I've been doing the Shabby Dabby Doodars uh, mask makes, which I do need to make a couple more of, of those videos. I'm gonna say I've got the next three of um, her videos. I've got you know all the papers sorted out, what I want to to use and stuff. So. It's not seen another <laughs> pile of things to do. So yeah, and then it's obviously allowed me the time to to get my YouTube started and and film so many videos a week. So that's good. You can say I don't. I probably I, at the minute I've been filming like three a week. So probably when I go back to work. Probably go down to to two a week. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I've kind of got used to doing them and scheduling them on the you know on the days that that I do. Same one. Like the first ever video I did, I was absolutely racking my brains of oh what. You know, what can I film? But now I've started doing it. It's I've got <laughs> so many ideas and just not not enough time to to get them all done. So I've started well, I've printed out all the kits that I'm gonna use in my next theme. So I like to to work in in themes like the last theme I did was was birds um, and I probably made I don't know around 20 20 different things on that theme and then my theme before that was was gardening so my next theme is bees um, and I've bought well I've bought from three different digital creators. I've bought some from Stephanie at My Porch Prints and one from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah and one from I think it's Queen of Mirth. So I've got all those printed out. And I've just started the, um, you know, the cutting, the cutting up of, of them. I've kind of got a mental list of the things that, that I want to make with that. Um, I'm going to be trying out some, some new... You know some different types of notebooks and, and books and things I think I've spent you know the last few months I don't know if to go up there sorry um yeah I think I will yeah I've spent the last few months mainly concentrating on on the embellishment side um so I do want to spend a bit more time on on different types of of box oh, I, I will still do <coughs> some embellishment packs and, and that for, for my shop but maybe not as, as many as, as I normally do because um, I'll be wanting to use the embellishments in in my own journals so we'll see see how that goes. Don't 
don't matter if they're not so um, they only need to be you know slightly stuck in in place so I will be using a matte medium over the top but <clears throat> When I, when I first thought about doing it, I thought, oh, I'll just use a paintbrush and um, stick, you know, stick them, stick them all on. Um, and then I thought, oh, I would actually like to, to sew around it all. Um, and then I thought, should I sew around it all first and then stick it? But then I thought, you know, I'm then going to go over, over the sewing. I would like to see see the sewing because I've got put some black um, thread into my machine so I thought it'd be nice to to see that and um, I don't think my sewing machine would appreciate <laughs> going through through some some matte medium I don't know if it even would would do it if if that's the thing I can't remember if I've ever seen anybody do it that way but I just thought this way would be a bit more kind of for for my machine let's find the right piece for that not going to do the inside this is just um just how i want the cover So yeah, I think I, I've done the majority of the cutting out for for the bees, and I have started making um, some covers ready. So I think the next stage with those will be to get the papers sewn in, and then I'll be able to start on the on the embellishment side. I think I think it's probably going to take me quite a while to to get through them through them all. But I do find if I just work on on one particular theme, it's um, it's a lot easier because you know I have everything in in a basket, so. I love all the pages in a folder and then all the cutouts in, in another folder and then all the tags and journal cards in another one. Then all the fabrics, you know, ribbons and laces and stuff that I'm going to use in that colour tone. Um, And then any die cuts and you know your decoration parts and I, I keep them all together and then I just find it a lot easier when I'm doing it it's um, not doing a lot of rooting rooting about for things and because you know that's what what I did when I first started I just made one thing one thing at a time and I just felt that <clears throat> I was just constantly trying to find things and or I'd do something and then have to think oh I could have used such and such up um, and just totally forgetting in in the moment and then you're not using your things or you know that you've bought for that for that purpose so so yeah that's that's just the way the way I tend to do it. But now I've obviously got several different projects going on. I'm doing the bees, doing the unfinished, 
than doing the two the two challenges and um oh yeah exciting news well I've got, i think i've got two exciting news really so um i've been asked to on a design team so how amazing is that um ali from cockney crafter um emailed me and asked me if um if i'd be interested in joining her and it's uh, the first kit that she's ever designed um, and, and yeah she's asked me to be on the design team so yeah I'm really chuffed about that um, and the kit is is wonderful and it's got such a sweet a sweet story to it it's about her nan and her great nan so and it's got you know, real photographs in there and, and things of her grandparents, which is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I'll be also um, doing projects with with that as well. So I just need to clear a few few other things before um, before I start on, on that. But um, I, I think the colour challenge is probably coming to to an end then i've just filmed brown um amy's put black and white up um i've printed my black and white out just need to cut it out um and then i know she's doing purple after that and then i think they might be pink and yellow and maybe that's i think that's about it um, I know there was an an aqua and a navy, so I don't know if she's just counted the blue one as as both, or if there's going to be. I'd love it if there was a, a navy one, because um, I've been wanting to do something in navy. So yeah, there's not <laughs> there's not too many too many weeks left um, of that. So I shall just cut cut round it. Um, where I've gone, gone over on it. Yep. Yeah. Didn't do too bad actually. Not a lot of yeah. not, not a lot of overhang at all. So when I've done this, I shall pause and. I shall just sew, sew around it and then shall ink it and then paint the matte medium over the top of it. <laughs> Concentration. And then I'll leave it leave it to dry for the day and then I'll come back another day and we'll work on the inside so I think that's that's that um, I have made this to go to go on there because I didn't want all my bits sticking up at where it folds so I thought that would that would help it out. Um, don't know if to do that on now. Yes, I will, because then I can have the sewing across the across the top and the bottom of it. So let me give this give this a glue. So yeah, it's gone quite dull this week, weather weather wise still quite quite nice it's not it's not cold cold but yeah it's a lot a lot duller than than what it was oh to feel with the, I do it like that hold on a minute I've got my glasses on my head I <laughs> can't see what I'm doing right I can see now 
rather putting them on my head because when I'm walking around, um, they're only really for, you know, reading and watching telly and stuff. So when you walk around, it's, um, I can't properly see in them. Um, so yeah, I'm forever taking them on and off and I don't like to put them down because I'd never find them ever again. I cut that. That button bit. So yeah, I have contemplated, and I might end up doing it, is just getting one of them strings because obviously once I've had them on me, on my head, um, then I've got to wipe my glasses. So yeah, I don't know if I have them on. Have them on a string. Um, just in the house, not <laughs> not where anybody else can see me. So yeah, I think that'll and that okay over the top like that. And I'll probably as I'm sticking it down, I'll probably put some I have to do that first. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say round it and then, yeah, I think I'll put the odd um, label and stuff on. These are from, um, I think it's Tracy Fox's. I don't know if it's called Field Notes or or something so yeah i've just cut cut that out this morning right i'll put i'll put the video on pause i shall say that and then i shall get back to you right i've just nipped on to show you where i'm at now so i've just sewn around the the top and bottom i've attached the envelope there i've lined in the middle of the pocket and i've attached that envelope there I just added this bit there so it was it was the same on the on the tabby bit and like that there. so that's still open and then that's still open and like I say I don't know if I'll be cutting the envelope down the side or across the top to have it as as a pocket and the same with this one obviously they'll both want covering with something so I'm going to now stick a few of these labels on before I put the, the matte medium on so there's my glue stick so let's see how this will Yeah, it pretty much goes in the middle. There's that one more I originally put there. I did like the, the look of that one. I can't remember which one it was. Well, you know, when I put it there, it, it just sent like, like the the right one for for the right place. No, oh, sorry, should have kept it to to one side. Anyway, I'll do some at the back, but no, I won't because I might use the one that that I want. Oh. Damn. I think it needs something quite big. Right, let me just get my scissors. Get me ink. I'm just gonna fussy cut round this a bit a bit closer and go up and down there. To make it look a bit, a bit rougher. I 
Oh, I do want to ink all around this, the front um, cover as well before I put the the rest on. Right, get me glue book. Just pop that down. I keep forgetting this you hoot stick. You actually have to screw the top on and on and off. And so most ones you just pull off. So I put that at the top there. Then I'll probably just put one down the bottom just um just poking. I think he's getting a bit fed up because um he's still been going on his walks but not as um not as far and not to such exciting places as he normally goes I wouldn't say I've just been going local so yeah I think he's a bit a bit fed up and I think now when he does see somebody walk past it's um it's a bit strange because um not seeing many people walk up and, and down so now he seems to be barking at every single person that that walks past so I'll we'll just have those two on the front and um, I'll arrange some Yeah, I think I'll go for go for that. Let's cut into this again. So I've only actually used matte medium once. Um let's say I have got two different mudge podges. I've got um a matte one and a gloss one which I normally use like for, for decoupage but um, yeah I've only tried the matte medium ones and I, I can't really remember I think I did do a cover um, before will this matte medium make this ink come off because it's printer ink I don't know. Because I'm just now wondering, would I be best? I don't think it does. Let's put that down there. <laughs> it doesn't appear. Um, so okay yeah I'm gonna say I just had that oh my goodness moment right, ink around around this yes. sometimes happens don't it yeah you go to the next step and you think oh why did I do do that I should have done blah blah before or or whatever I suppose if they run I can cover them cover them over with with something something else 
I'm going to say it's all, all trial and error <clears throat> when you're trying new things out for yourself. I'm going to say and you could have watched 100 videos and, and think, you know, you know the right way and that. But when you're actually doing it, you kind of forget forget all the, the little bits and bobs. Right. So I'm just going to open all that up. Let's put my yeah. crash bang wallet. Let's put all my lids on. And then I'll give it a coat of this. I'm guessing it will take two coats. You know what? I forgot to ink. I know like with with Mod Podge it's really hard to to ink after. So obviously then it's got got like a protector over over the top of it. the glue now <laughs> oh dear me it's a while since I've, I've done a file folder to be honest and I, I tend to do them a little bit different every single time so I always have to to think about it Right, I'm going to do this middle bit and then I'm just going to go over that glue uh, because I am ready for another, a new dobber on, on this anyway. So I'll go over it and then just throw this, this dobber away. Right. I'll take, that. I'll take it off now, otherwise I'll... I forget that that's what I was going to do. You watch the next time I ink, I'll, I'll forget that I've not got one on. And I'll be like, oh, this isn't very good. Right. I don't know if this will leave lines in it or do you need to get all the creases out who knows well somebody will <laughs> not me but hopefully when i've done it i'll i shall know but yeah i think it it'll come out really good quite excited to do the the envelope on the front and so i always put some kind of um envelope inside normally have one going one way and another going another way so it'll be quite cool to have one on the front so you have to flip out even before before you go in Do think that that's all covered, but I suppose best to do a, a thin coat first, let it dry pretty quick, and then then go over it again. That's what I would would think. Right, doesn't matter if anything gets on the inside because I've not done the inside yet. I should probably just line the inside with um, Mickey's main um, paper, um, you know, the pages of the of the digital. 
but uh, I'll have to have have a look through and see see which ones I want to want to use for it. I'm going to say that they normally get quite covered up anyway. By the time you've put all your pockets and flips and flops and all the rest of it. Wish, I wish, I wish I had because I've just used another book there. I don't know how that book um, got into it, but um, yeah, I wish now in hindsight, I wish I'd have ripped the taxes out of a lot of different books so I'd got the the difference of of the text because I think that quite stands stands out with it being different and you're not going to see it because um, it'd be covered over. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think um, if I do another one of these, I think that's what I'll do. Go through all different books, and but I did like the patina on on this book that um, that I did use. Right, I think. Let's have a look in in the light. I think that that is all covered up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on pause. Um, I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee, do a few household chores and then um, I'll come back and, and check if it's, if it's dry or not and then we'll, we'll give it another coat. Right, I'll see you soon.